Hey guys, this is going to be a really short video, but in today's video I will be teaching you how to game on a Chromebook. So we are going to be using NVIDIA's new online service called NVIDIA GeForce Now that allows you to play games, connect to remote servers through your Wi-Fi. Uh, no matter what speed it is, you should be able to run it unless it's too slow, but really most people's homes have pretty, pretty solid internet to run this. So first, open up your Chromebook. After you get it turned on, go ahead and go to Chrome. Then type in play.geforcenow.com and then click enter. And it'll bring you to a page that should look like this. Then it's going to bring you to this page. As you can see, I have the Founders Edition. Basically, there's two subscriptions you can have. The basic and free subscription, will, which will limit you to about one hour of gameplay and a couple other things, but it's not really major. And then there's Founders Edition, which you will have no wait times to get in or whatever. And usually there is no wait time for the free edition, but sometimes there can be like 70 people in line, but usually it goes really fast because it'll kick you out if you don't touch your keyboard or mouse for so long so uh, first you're gonna want to find your game in this case I'm gonna demo Fortnite you're gonna want to put your mouse on it and click on play now if this is your first time doing this it'll probably prompt you to log in but since it is not my first time it'll just load up put it automatically in full screen and load the game as so okay and as you can see it's loading up and while we're waiting for that to load up this is the NVIDIA page, except this is the requirements that you're supposed to have to run it. So, this is for the Chromebook section, and as you see, it says Chrome Browser 77.x or later, so make sure your Chrome Browser is up to date. Keyboard and mouse, you can use your built-in keyboard, but definitely recommend having a USB mouse there. And then, for game pads, you can use your controller, so you can use your Xbox 360, Xbox One, uh, DualShock 4, P PlayStation controller, or a long Logitech gamepad F10 or F710 and then GeForce now requires at least 15 megabits for 720p at 60 FPS gaming and 25 megabits for 1080p at 60 FPS gaming so I'm gonna show you what this is this is what I mean by internet if your internet speed is fast enough so let me hop over to the Chromebook and what you're gonna want to do if you're already loading in the game that's okay just hit your little search key and open a new Chrome window to open a new Chrome window, hit your search key, then move your mouse pad to Chrome, and then just click on it with two fingers like that, and then it'll bring up this, use your arrow keys, and hit enter on new window. And then what you're going to want to do is type in speedtest.net. Now, it's definitely better if you're not running the game and doing this, but it really doesn't matter for me. So I'm just, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to hit go. This is a slower old 2016 Chromebook. That just shows how much support they have for older Chromebooks and stuff. And if you do get a screen that looks like this, saying your device is unsupported, just wait a little bit, then check back again and see if it's supported. But mostly everything's supported as far as uh, online Chromebooks go. But yeah, make sure to just hit that go button. And then they're going by the download speed, I guess, I think. So... Uh, just wait. So, like I said, 15 for 720p at 60 FPS, which that's what this screen is, and then 25 for 1080p at 60 FPS. So, my Chromebook is older, like I said, but as you can see, I'm getting around 50, somewhere around there, which will definitely run the game fine. Also, it's running the game in the background, so the speeds are going to be really bad on this old Chromebook. Even though this is my real internet speed, and the Chromebook's not getting that much, it is older, and you're probably most likely going to have a new Chromebook anyways, so that'll help. Then you can just close out of that whenever you're ready, and then it should bring you back to full screen here, and sometimes it'll be a little, little laggy if you have an older, maybe slower CPU, whatever, Chromebook, then you can just hit play, and you can technically use your touchpad if you want. Um, you can play any games that you own, Steam, whatever, BMNG Drive, uh, maybe Forza, Fortnite, they're adding support for games pretty much every week. So, as you can see, it's running perfectly, and if you go to the three lines here, settings, you can go uh, change your frame rates, resolution, and you're connected to a remote gaming server with NVIDIA parts. For example, this is an N, well, it's not an NVIDIA graphics card, but it's based off of NVIDIA. It's called EVGA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. You're basically running on this, except it's a server, so it's like, like this, on a rack, but um, they're, basically you're connected to it with it should be uh, almost no lag, especially going around the settings, but if you want to go ahead and change your quality to whatever, uh, turn an FPS counter on, you can. I have it on 100%, uh, so if I hit escape, you can actually see there is an FPS counter down here, so I could go to play, uh, if I could play a match or whatever, and then there is the FPS counter, and as you can see, it's like averaging around, I don't know, I'd say 
200 or something like that, although it's dipping pretty hardly, but uh, you can see it's also going up to like 270 or whatever. But uh, I'm going to wait for it to load in the game just so I can show you that it's real and legit, of course. Okay, so you can see it's really not that laggy. Uh, I can emote, I can do whatever, use the touchpad even if I was like dying, but that would be terrible. So I'm using a USB mouse, and uh, as you can see, it's working fine. If I go on the map, I can mark things just perfectly fine, and everything works out. Sound works as quiet as it is, but uh, that's because I have it down on the Fortnite settings. But anyways, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more so you never miss an upload. Thank you guys so much for joining this video, and peace.